Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to monitor your network traffic using the network monitoring tool. Um, this is very useful if you um, have some interfaces that you want to track the amount of traffic that is flowing through it um, and uh, even, even for just managing your bandwidth you can use that to have an idea how traffic flows at certain times and all of that so first thing that you need to do is to go to tools and go to traffic monitor and uh, click add and i'm going to create i'm going to monitor so the interface that i'm going to monitor is my one interface but you can use this to monitor any interface that is in the in the interface list so if you click on this drop down, you can monitor any one of these interfaces that you have on your um, router. So I'm going to monitor Ethernet 1, which is my one interface. And for this, for this section that says traffic, so transmitted would be considered upload because you're sending that data. Versus receive, meaning that you're downloading, you're pulling it down. So... I'm going to use receive which is download so I'm going to use one call this one download and uh, the trigger um, works in collaboration with the threshold so the trigger is saying above a particular threshold it will it will be executed so I leave it as above and then the Threshold, I'm going to set it as 3 megabyte, megabits per second. And then the on event now, this is where you would put in your script to be executed when this threshold is reached. So a basic script that you can use is to just create a log. And so it's just semicolon log error or log info you can use any one of these so the info the difference between the, the error and the info is so these are info and the error log would be in red so it depends on which one you want so i'm just going to log this to say um one call this one download one link download I can say one download one download three megabytes all right so three megs all right so this is what would be there in your log entry this section and you can even take this a bit further by using the same email script that I've been using and uh, just going to just put that script here and this script is the same script and you can also you all you need to do is to change the subject to whatever you want so I'm going to do a test on this so that's apply okay I'm going to open my interface this is my interfaces and this is the interface that I'm going to monitor and I'm going to open the logs at the same time to have, have an idea of what is happening so yeah try put everything on the screen okay so I'm going to download a test file if you are not a subscriber please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and then click on the notification bell to get notified when new videos are released thank you for your support and then go back to see what's happening all right so now the script it says script so we have just written um, a log entry to show that the one connection has reached three megabits per second so and you see this is gone far more than three let us use that just for the test what should also happen is that I should get an email to say that, um, to say the same thing. 
So let me check my email. Okay, yes, I'm seeing the email now. So the file is currently being now. I'm going to cancel this download, but I've just received the email to say that um, the one link has received three megabits per second. So it is in line with the event that took place here. So the script is actually working. So remember again, you can use the log info or log error if you want. The error, the log error will show the log entry in red. So if you want this log to, to stand out, you can use the log error instead if you want. All right, I'm going to test and show you. Uh, yes, so this is how it looks when you use a log error versus the log info. So that is how you use traffic monitor to monitor your interface or your the traffic that is flowing through a particular interface. So that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. So thanks for watching.